while growing up, I was fascinated with science fiction. In fact, I'm sure that many of you are like me. We read and watched science fiction stories, and many times we really wanted to have one superpower or another, dreamt of being a superhero in disguise, and secretly hoped that we would wake up the following day and realize we have a superpower that we were never aware of. <laughs> and today I want to tell you how our research group at MIT has been transforming some of these superpowers into a reality. So Superman can see through walls, and Iron Man can control things in air without touching them with the help of Jarvis, his artificial intelligence assistant. And because our research is to make Wi-Fi faster, like the Wi-Fi on your cell phone, we started thinking, can you use Wi-Fi to see through walls or control things in air without even touching them? Of course, when we first came up with the idea, we also did not realize it's possible. But over the past three years, we have been developing sophisticated technologies and algorithms that have allowed us to achieve these superpowers using wireless signals. So let me show you these technologies in action. Here, in this video, we put our device behind the wall where the arrow is pointing. And the output screen of the device is shown in the bottom left corner. Now, as I play this video, I want you to focus on the red dot because it tells us where the device thinks the person is on the other side of the wall. As you can see, as the person moves, the red dot is tracking him very accurately. In fact, it is doing that even though he has absolutely no device on his body. It uses this wireless device that is on the other side of the wall. But this is not all we can do. Not only can we get the person's location, we can also track his limbs, like his hands. So, for example, we can track his hands as they, as they point at different appliances and allow him to control them. So here, he was pointing at the lamp, and now, as he points at the TV, he turns it off. And because... And because it works through walls, you can even control appliances, even from another room. And all of this is done using this wireless device that is on the other side of the wall. And this is why I told you that wireless technologies are giving us superpowers. So what is this very basic idea that allows us to achieve this? Well, when you have a wireless router and it transmits a signal, part of the signal will traverse the wall, reflect off the person's body on the other side of the wall, and then come back to us. And if you're wondering why Wi-Fi signals can traverse walls, just remember that you can receive Wi-Fi even from another room. So if you can somehow get this tiny signal after it traverses the wall forward and backward, then maybe we can start tracking the person on the other side of the wall. Of course, it's not that simple. The first problem is you have the wall, and the wall will reflect a huge amount of signal. In fact, the wall's reflection is 10,000 to 100,000 times stronger than any reflection coming from behind the wall. To give you an idea of how bad this is, it's as if you're looking at the sun, and at the same time, you're trying to see something else in the scene, like a plane. The sun will just blind you and prevent you from seeing anything else, and in the exact same way, the wall's reflection will blind you from getting any reflection from behind it. But even if we remove the wall's reflection, we will start getting reflections from everything behind the wall, the human body, but also from tables and chairs and all sorts of furniture. And what we do is that we design technologies and algorithms that allow us to tease out the person's reflections from all of this clutter and use them to track the person on the other side of the wall. So let me show you another video of our technology in action. Here, we place our device behind the wall, and it is tracking the person who is walking in an adjacent room. As I said, the device transmits a wireless signal that traverses the wall and reflects off the person's body. And I told you that we can get the person's location but this is not all we can do. For example, this is the output that we get today. We get these blobs that reflect different human body parts, and as the person moves, we get reflection from different parts of his body. So we collect snapshots at different points in time, and then we combine these snapshots through a reconstruction algorithm that allows us to reconstruct a person's silhouette. So over here, we see the background in navy blue and different body parts in red, orange, yellow. So here we see the person's head, chest, arms, and feet. 
And all of this is done using this device that is on the other side of the wall. So you can imagine wearing night goggles, except that they allow you to see through walls. And we can use this to distinguish between different people behind the wall. So for example, when we ask two people to stand behind the wall, this is the output of our device. And so by testing and training on different subjects, we can start identifying the person behind the wall. So for example, I can set it up in my office and check whenever my boss is coming from behind the wall. <laughs> we can also use it to realize how the person behind the wall is standing. So for example, when I stand facing the device, this is the output that we get. And when we ask our friends to come in and stand in different postures, this is the output we got. And so this is why I told you that today we are able to see through walls. Over here, we were able to see the person's head, chest, arms, and feet. And so we are all of this using the wireless technologies. But can we do better? Can we get the person's breathing from behind the wall? Again, the answer is yes. I'm going to show you another video. And in this video, we place our wireless device behind the camera. These increases and decreases on the left that you are seeing are actually due to the person's inhale and exhale motion. And so when the person holds his breath, like he's doing now, we stop seeing these variations, which means that, indeed, they are capturing the person's chest movement. And when the person will release his breath in a bit, we will start seeing these variations again, capturing the person's exhale. Now I want to take this video and to show it to you more visually, I will play it at five times the speed. And when I do that, I want you to focus on the person's chest and match it to the signal. So we can get the person's breathing from behind the wall. But can we do even more? <laughs> so here, we see the inhale and exhale motion that I told you about. And we're going to take this portion and zoom in on it. These tiny oscillations on top of the breathing motion are actually due to the person's heartbeats. And the reason is that when the heart pumps blood, it creates a force that acts on different body parts and causes them to vibrate, and we can capture these vibrations from wireless reflections. And this leads me to one of the applications that I'm extremely excited about, and which I'm sure will resonate with all the parents in the crowd. It's about baby monitoring. So over here, we see the output video of a baby monitor. If you look at the top left, you realize that time is passing, though all we see is a still image. So we took this baby monitor, and we augmented it with the output of our device. And look at what we get. We are able to get the baby's inhale and exhale, and we are even able to get the baby's heart rate. So for example, now, it's 127 beats per minute. And babies' heart rates are naturally higher than those of us adults. In fact, in this video, our device was placed on the other side of the wall, and it was monitoring the baby's breathing and heart rate through the wall. And we're doing all of this using wireless technologies. I told you about many applications, including baby monitors and gesture control, but there are also so many others. There are applications in augmented reality, in elderly monitoring, in security, and even firefighters can use it to find where victims are before they go in and risk their lives. And this is what happens when wireless tech transforms superpowers into a reality. So next time you think of a superpower that you would really like to have, just keep in mind that it will only be some time before technology transforms it into a reality. Thank you.